Hello again everybody, Sapphic86 back again for another Xbox Redstone tutorial and today's tutorial is going to be featured on this here uh, floor trap. Floor lava dying and death and fire and flames and lava trap. Yes, anyway. This thing is very condensed, does not take a lot of supplies and as you can see here far, as far as size goes it's only 9 long, 7 tall and 6 wide. So in order to build this thing you're going to need the 6 by 9 platform just like so with seven height allowance there so let's go ahead and get this thing started all right so in order to build this thing what you will need 12 sticky pistons 17 redstone dust one redstone torch 60 blocks that will be visible but you need to make sure that they cannot be set on fire same goes for your non-visible blocks except there will be 67 total of that so it's a full stack of 64 plus three and you'll need at least one lava bucket to put in the bottom of the trap to kill people all right so all right in order to build this thing what you're going to do is grab your non-visible non-burnable stack of blocks go ahead and put three right here in the middle on both those stacks and then take a line of six all the way across here like so and then take those up three just like so oops and then put two right here and take those up three and then another six on this side and take those up three okay now on this end over here, where you have a little bit more room, you're going to want to bring that up another one. And then on top of that, you're going to want to put four red, just like so. Now right here, on this part of the red, go ahead and put a blue block. Bring this around, and then bring this out to right there. Same thing on the other side, except slightly different. You're just going to want to go right here, and go out like so. And then bring it out the same distance. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks out. Nice and easy. And then what you're going to want to do is, underneath those, grab your sticky pistons, right here next to this wall, go ahead and put one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like so, and the same thing on the opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like so. Okay, so attached to these, you're going to go ahead and put your red blocks for your floor, all the way across, just like so, and you're going to want to go ahead and put red blocks over here as well. Okay. Now at this point, all you're going to need to do to activate this thing, put in your redstone torch and your dust across here like so. Dust across here like so. All right. Oops, and for some reason I forgot to tell you to put a lever in this. You're going to need a lever, by the way, guys. I mean, obviously, that's, that's kind of necessary to activate. Anyway, you probably already guessed that, but yes, lever. <laughs> and that's it. That's, it. That's all the device requires. Now at this point, obviously, you're going to want to build up your walls. So go ahead and grab your visible blocks. All the way across. All the way across. And then the same thing on this side. Okay, and then go and put two right here. Two right here. And then on top of that, you're just going to put your roof. Just like so. Okay, and then you can walk in here and be like, Oh, look, you know, I, I want to push that lever, but I don't know what it's going to do. And if I put mark a little bit closer, just out of reach right here, and I'm like, make sure I'm not flying. And I'm like, oh, and I fall into this like pit of doom. And this thing could go down forever, and it could just be, you know, death by falling. It also could be dispensers with creepers in there and make it all obsidian to where it's death by creepers. Or you could also have fire get, get started down there, or maybe just fire on another rack. I mean, I don't know. You could also do lava. Lava is the easiest way to do it. All right, guys, so you're gonna, you need at least one bucket. Honestly, you're going to want two buckets. Put one in this corner, put one in there, or in that corner. Because if you have just this one here, this space here doesn't get lava on it. And that's, that's as much as you can do with one bucket. And it's really nice, but at the same time, if they're standing right here, then they won't get burned by lava. So you want to make sure that they get burned by lava when they fall down there. And two buckets of lava is all that's necessary. Now, obviously, if you want to fill this thing up, what you're going to need, all the way across here, this whole thing, it is 12 total lava buckets 12 total lava source blocks so it's a lot of lava but it's worth it because uh, it's, it's definitely worth it to be like hmm i wonder what this lever does oh you fall and you you witness all your friends fall to their doom you know all, all of your friends will fall to their doom anyway so that's just one trap um i'm not going to show you how to build these other ones but i'm going to show you these other ones this one here involves tripwire now obviously this tripwire is very visible now you can stretch this across uh gaps and make it in a cave somewhere where there's a bunch of like you know randomized walls and stuff to where it looks like it could just be a, ra a normal hole instead of it being a specific hole here but obviously if you hit this tripwire there's a block right here that you can still stand on and it's fine and you get by but if you're sprinting through here oh i'm just gonna fall down and die so 
it's kind of a useful trick it's kind of not a useful trick I'm having trouble finding a use for these trip wires honestly so if you guys can come up with a really good use for the trip wires let me know in the comment section all right so as far as these ones over here I like this slightly better it's pressure plates okay but there's also a couple different ways you can beat this now you can't jump across that gap obviously but if you stand right here and then you're like okay I'm gonna walk out like slightly well you can like pretty much walk out and stay on these borders without now granted I'm not doing it right now because I'm flying and I'm in creative so it's a little harder all right so if you crouch and you walk out a little bit further like so it actually unpresses these pressure plates so this one is also kind of easy to easy to hack or not necessarily hack but easy to beat um, this one over here is a little different this you've seen in my let's build and all this is is the extended bridge that goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and honestly you can go forever as, as long as you want to the problem however is that when you run across this thing you may not be able to get all the way across it before it you know falls apart without flying like I just did reason being uh, you have to extend these times here and if you extend these times here even slightly it really helps so if you can come up with a better method for this let me know in the comment section because this is the best thing I've come up with as I said in my let's build series but at least now you have a few different trap ideas of what you can do in your own adventure maps or in your own worlds that you want to set up a little trap for somebody there's a lot of TNT traps and other traps that I could do but I just wanted to keep this one short and just show you these four so if you'd like to see more traps leave a comment down below that'll, that'll be the question of the day sure would you like to see more Xbox Redstone traps yeah just let me know in the comment section. I'll go ahead and get working on it if you do. Otherwise, thanks for watching and stay tuned next week for something different. See you later, guys. Leave a like and share the episode if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you haven't already.